for the love of toys. It's the slogan of my channel, and it's something that I really truly believe. You see, I've always had a fascination with toys, ever since I was a kid, and I've grown to become a fan of not only the hobby of toy collecting, but the industry as a whole. I love toys. I have no problem admitting that. But part of the reason I love toys so much are the memories tied along with them. You see, I fondly remember playing with several toy lines as a kid, and I talk about them all the time here. Masters of the Universe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and one of my other personal favorites from when I was a kid, Kenner's The Real Ghostbusters. That's right, me and just about every kid from my generation definitely experienced Ghostbusters mania. After the success of the movies, we got a cartoon series. And with the cartoon series, we got an amazingly fun line of action figures. I mean, these are seriously some of the most fun toys from that time. I think everybody who had these probably remembers the awesome proton packs with the cool little spinning mechanism. Or how about the fright features? Come on, everybody remembers the fright features. They're hilarious. And then there's my favorite part, the ghosts. The ghosts were the best! From the little translucent minifigures to the cool kind of transforming guys, oh my gosh, the ghosts were so much fun. There was a lot of fun to be had with the real Ghostbusters toy line. And I have a lot of memories tied with this line. You see, I very fondly remember that Christmas morning where I first got my real Ghostbusters toys. And you know what? I've got some photographic proof. That's right. Look right here. This is the Christmas I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I know. I look like I'm really excited about that Teddy Ruxpin that I'm holding, but do you see what's down there on the floor? Yep, that's totally a real Ghostbusters proton pack. In fact, here's another picture from the same Christmas, and look what I'm playing with right there on the floor. All of my brand new real Ghostbusters action figures. I fondly remember walking down the stairs that Christmas morning and seeing them all standing up out of their packaging, busting ghosts under the Christmas tree. That image is burned in my brain, and it's so cool to remember that Christmas morning. Hey, here's another Christmas morning with me and my brother and our mountain of toys, because we were definitely spoiled, and I really appreciate that, of course. But look right there, Ghostbusters Ghost Trap, do you see that? And even here's a picture of me and my brother playing Ghostbusters out in the backyard. Yeah, Ghostbusters was a huge part of my childhood, and I love that. And it's so cool that I have these pictures to look back on. I don't have many of them, because unlike today where we have cameras just in our pockets and we kind of take it for granted, back then our parents had 35 millimeter film and they had to go out and get that film developed. So I don't have a ton of pictures of me with my toys, but the stuff I do have, I love looking back at it and kind of reminiscing about those simpler times. Even more uncommon than pictures is video. That's right, not a lot of parents had video tapes or recorders back in the day to film us playing with our toys. But that is where my friend Tyler comes in. Tyler runs an amazing series called My Retro Life, where he has got tons of amazing footage from his childhood, where his dad filmed him with his video games, and yes, his toys. So today I'm gonna turn it over to my friend Tyler, who's gonna share with us some amazing, heartwarming footage of himself as a kid playing with his real Ghostbusters toys. Hey, mister. What? Are you a Ghostbuster? Yeah. I most certainly was a Ghostbuster. It was the late 80s, and nothing could deter my young self from believing I was, in fact, a real Ghostbuster. That's right. If there was something strange in your neighborhood, you would call me. Naturally, I was still in training. I studied every move my cousin Manny made playing the Ghostbusters video game. Ate Slimer ice cream frozen from within the depths of a dirty ice cream truck every chance I got. And of course, I never missed a single episode of the real Ghostbusters cartoon show. Every Saturday morning, my mom woke me up early to watch the real Ghostbusters in action. 
This was my happy place, a brief half hour of the week where I would get to join my heroes on the front lines and battle class five full roaming vapors. Real nasty ones too. For a kid who ain't afraid of no ghost, there was no better place to be on the weekend. And when I wasn't watching the show, I was recreating it with the action figures. There you go. You did. You missed. The Kenner toy line of real Ghostbusters action figures was incredible. Aside from fan favorite Slimer, and of course, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, these plastic poltergeists were mostly original creations made by Kenner, and I love them. You love Ghostbusters? Mm -hmm. Dad loved them too. He was a big fan of the 1984 film, and really, he was just a big kid at heart. Together, he and my mom bought me all the Ghostbuster toys I could fit inside the firehouse. Second floor. Oh, look at the bookshelf. And there, there's the third floor up here. Wow. And there's the roof. And who's that on the roof? King Kong. King Kong? Yeah, King Kong. Wow. There he goes running off after getting his favorite toy, the Ghostbusters. House. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it? I work for the Ghostbusters. I'm their secretary. Yes, isn't it wonderful? But oh no, there's a ghost! Ah! I work for the Ghostbusters too. And I work for the Ghostbusters, but oh no, there's a ghost! Ah! <laughs> hey, Bunny, what are you doing taking out the garbage? <laughs> Show everybody how he turns into a ghost. There you go. There you go. Look, he's a he's a bug ghost. Wow, I can't believe all the Ghostbusters yeah. toys you have, Tyler. I was only getting started. By the time my third birthday came around a few months later, the real Ghostbusters had become a real obsession. It was the theme of my party. Goldbusters. Everyone was invited. My grandfather, the neighbor kids down the street, my great grandparents, the pastor's wife and their young daughter. Anyone who fit the bill for a three-year-old's birthday party was welcome. Even this kid who barely knew me. I think my mom just saw him playing outside and invited him in. Seriously. And we had the usual games. You know, there was pin the tail on the donkey. Hey, pin the tail right on the donkey there. Pin the tail. Thank you. A wild round of toddler basketball. But the main event was the opening of my gifts, where the Ghostbusters theme stayed alive and true. It was a ghost-busting child's dream come true. My family had crossed the streams and delivered total protonic reversal, but instead of exploding every molecule in my body, they gave me more of what I craved, namely Ghostbusters toys. Ready? 
It's always sad when a birthday party ends, all your friends and family leave, the cake and ice cream has all been devoured. But then there's that moment when you realize you have the entire rest of the afternoon to play with your brand new toys. So, that's it. My childhood love for the Ghostbusters caught on tape like a ghost caught in a trap. But the question still remains, was I really a Ghostbuster? I'll let Dad take it from here. Not only is this boy a Ghostbuster, wearing Ghostbuster pajamas, but he's now got a Ghostbuster bed. Look at that insignia on his arm. He is a Ghostbuster. They fall for good. Yeah. Let's check out this bed. Look at that pillow. Well, I think it's wonderful. And you are a wonderful kid. Say good night, everybody. Good night. Pure joy. That's exactly what it was when we were kids and we were experiencing these toys for the first time. It's awesome that we have stuff like video footage, like what Tyler just shared with us, or photographs from our childhood, or just what's in our memories that we can share with our family and our friends. That way we can kind of reminisce about what it was like when we were kids and we didn't have a care in the world and all that mattered was the joy that we got from toys like this. Maybe it wasn't Ghostbusters for you, but I guarantee it was something. And I hope that today's video really made you rekindle that, made you relive some of those fond moments of pure joy when you were a kid experiencing your favorite toys. If you guys will indulge me, we are going to end today's video with some footage of my three-year-old Spencer. You see, he was so excited when he saw me setting up all of these Ghostbusters toys to shoot this video that some magic of my own happened and I had to shoot the footage of it and I'd like to share it with you guys today because I think it's a perfect cap on the message of this video. What are you doing, Spencer? What? <laughs> what am I doing? Um, what are you looking at? I'm looking at that. Do you want it? Now what's this? Huh. He looks weird. This guy looks weird. He looks weird. <laughs> he looks weird. He does look weird. Yeah. Look, they're the same size. They match. They match? Yeah. Which one's real? Which one's real? This one. <laughs> Th this one's not real. This one's real. Who's that guy in the back? This one? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is the marshmallow man. The marshmallow man? Yeah. <laughs> Brinkles. It's a brain ghost. A brain ghost? Yeah. Oh, these big giant brains. <laughs> it's big giant brains. Look. He's a bug. <laughs> but he doesn't have a bug. He's this. Watch. He's a brain ghost. Zzz, zzz. I see a bug. Which one's your favorite? Um, one of these. Slimer. 
Slimer. And this guy. And that guy. And this guy. And that guy. And this guy. And that guy. And this guy. They're all your favorites? Yeah. And this guy. And the marshmallow man. And the marshmallow man. Hello. Hey, Spencer. What? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching this very special video with us today. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and leave a comment below. Share some of your favorite childhood toy memories with us. Don't forget to subscribe to Tyler and check out his amazing My Retro Life video series to see some more of his awesome footage from when he was a kid. And of course, subscribe to this channel right here for more fun toy videos. Until next time, my friends.